Drive on the BBC Asian Network. After the success of feel-good films such as Bend It Like Beckham, also East is East, and most recently Anita and Me, we now have our own British Asian answer to Lock, Stock and Two Smoking Barrels. Now, the film is set in London's gritty underworld. It's called Triads, Yardies and Onion Barges. But uh, for those of us listening who are probably thinking, Triads, Yardies and Onion Barges, what's it about? Let's talk to the screenwriter, who's Manish Patel. I can tell you that this film has got everything in it except the kitchen sink, but I'd be lying because it has the kitchen sink as well. OK. Um, basically, when uh, we see films like, uh, you mentioned, Lock, Stock, very entertaining films, Asian people love these films, but uh, the one thing that's missing are the, uh, the Asian uh, actors. Basically, those films are missing the Asian spice. This film uh, focuses on an Asian gang called the Holy Smokes who uh, reside in Southall, which is uh, uh, in West uh, London. And uh, basically, it's about $6 million that gets uh, stolen from Heathrow Airport. And the film is about who actually has this missing money. Is it the Holy Smokes in West London? Is it the Yardies in uh, South London? Is it uh, the Triads in North London? The Triads are a Chinese gang. Or is it the uh, a gang we've called uh, the Firm in East London, which are like the uh, typical English Cockney white boy gangsters? Uh, but most of the film is from the uh, the viewpoint of the uh, the Asian mob, and it and it's very entertaining and it's very exciting, um, a high body count and uh, lots of blood. Okay, so it's gritty. This film. We're not talking about you know frivolous. If you like films like Bend It Like Beckham and East Is East, I, I would suggest uh, not to watch this film. Um, we're going to have a nightmare um, because obviously this film has to be uh, given a certificate by the uh, British Board of Film Control. And, uh, you know, there, there, there are a number of bloody scenes in there and uh, they really won't work if, if, uh, if they're cut down. Some cinemas will refuse to show it, but, but we'll see. But you'll live with that, isn't it? Because as, as we say, no publicity is ever bad. I'm just wondering, how deep do you actually go when it comes to the issues about the gangs of Southall? Because over the years, many of us will hear, we've heard of the gangs of Southall and throughout the country, and there's always been problems, inter-gang problem between Asian communities. Do you touch on that in your film at all? Oh, oh of course. I mean, um, part of uh, the film um, involves this gang, the Holy Smokes, and uh, there, there's a simmering feud. Basically, the, the gang is divided into two parts. Uh, the guy in charge of the gang is a character called Jacha, which is, uh, obviously means uncle. He's played by an actor called Jazz Bassi. Uh, he's the leader of the gang. He's the head. He's the godfather. But uh, what he doesn't realize is there's actually... Uh, his gang is split into two sections. They're, they're, they're rivals with, within the gang, and the film focuses uh, a lot on this. Um, one part of the gang is uh, uh, led by a, a psychopathic killer. That sounds exciting, doesn't it? Uh, he does. Yeah, this psychopath is called uh, Rocky, and he's played by another up-and-coming uh, talented actor, uh, Sook Gajminja. And uh, he's the leader of one section of the Holy Smokes. And then on the other side of the Holy Smokes, you have uh, the character of uh, Singh. And, and Singh is basically a cameo role played by myself. And... Uh, it focuses a lot on that, but, uh, you know, it doesn't take away from the main part of the story, which is $6 million has been stolen from Heathrow Airport. Which of the four gangs in London has it? And at the end of the day, um, there can be only one winner. Correct me if I'm wrong, sounds very much like a news story from not so long ago. Um, but I'm, I'm pleased to say you've stuck with the traditional Asian names of Cha-Cha and Rocky, and, you know, I'm sure there's going to be several more in the film. Um, you've chosen a completely um, professional cast for the film, and uh, you haven't gone for names like Mira Sial or Jimmy Mystery. How come? I thought about it, but then I had a problem, and, and I did some research as well. I mean, every single film that has come out... Recently, this recent British-Asian film phenomenon we've been going through, things like Bend It Like Beckham, uh, East is East, Anita and Me, they, they, they always have the standard actors. What I wanted were, were actors that really looked the part, and I, I was very, very happy, the director and I, very happy with the cast um, we have. Um, one of the actors, Ashwin Kumar Joshi, very talented player. Now, he plays the gentleman gang, gangster, Jazz. He's very non-violent. Uh, the only reason he turns to crime is because he wants to uh, have a good life with his girlfriend. So he goes on one last job. Also, a name that most listeners will be familiar with is uh, Dave Courtney. Dave Courtney is an English guy. He's uh, an ex-gangster in, Lon in the London's East End. Uh, basically, he is the uh, character that Guy Ritchie based Vinnie Jones' character on in Lockstock and then later in, in Snatch. 
Do you know what? You've sold it to me, Manish. We certainly wish you all the best with the film. We're looking forward to it. Thank you. You're a gritty man. That's the screenwriter, Manish Patel, talking about the new film Triads, Yardies and Onion Bargies. Drive. BBC Asian Network. The film I'm talking about today is called Triads, Yardies and Onion Bargies. There's a bit of poetry in there. <laughs> <laughs> the co-stars are local actors Jamali, mm -hmm. Riverall and Native. And they both join me now in the studio. How are you? Great. Fine, Fine. thank you. Fine. Fine. Are you lovies? Are you lovies? <laughs> <laughs> so both of you have been involved with um, Black and Asian Development at Derby Playhouse. Yeah. Yeah, and you were um, in the production The Evil That Men Do. Which mm -hmm. was written by Jazz Bassey, and it also, uh, and you, uh, yeah. and you also, and he also co-stars yeah. in yeah. this he film. He does actually. It was actually, and then it was remade again, wasn't it? Yeah. Bad Medicine, which we took to the Edinburgh Fringe Festival, mm -hmm. and um, the director Suki Garj Minja and Maitland Rowland, they rewritten the script. Mm -hmm. So yeah, Suki's also in the film as well. So yeah. Oh my God. So, so, yeah, so we're talking proper, proper Derby representatives. Definitely. Yeah. You know. Okay, well, th tell me a little bit about this film, Onion Bargy, what, Triads, Yardies and Onion... I mean, the, the title is fantastic itself, right. and, it, you know, you can already s hear that it's multicultural just by looking mm. at that title and hearing it. Mm. What's okay, it really, it comes from all angles, from um, the Triads, obviously, the Chinese, um, the Indians, um, there's a crew called The Firm, the Firm. which is uh, represented by the white um, side of the gangsta underworld, and then there's the Yardies. Mm -hmm. And I play the character Lloyd, and my sister is played by Jamelia Riverall, who goes by the name of Tia in yes. the film. And then you can. Okay, you know. my character Tia, very sexy. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, also, she's um, in a love triangle. Mm. Yeah, with two men, and they're both from the same gang, which is the Holy Smokes, which is the Asian, and then um, part of it. And she's got an old love, which is Singh. He went away for some time, and so she went. Got, Got it on with his best friend, Jack. <laughs> She's got an appetite for so, men. In the got an so, but, for men. You know, he's my fiance, Jazz, but he doesn't know that I'm actually sleeping with Sing as well. I mean, who produced this film? Is it, you know, was it company or? It was basically Sajid Baines, who's the director, yeah. and um, Manish Manish Patel. Patel. Who's a writer, yeah. who, who's also co-starring. Are they Derby the people as well? No, they're, they're not, they're Londoners. They're Londoners. Oh. Cockneys. Oh, Cockneys. <laughs> like yourself. Oh, is it? <laughs> 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 Mate, that's right. From yeah. South London? South Hall. Yeah. South Hall. Yeah. 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 I, um, I saw some of the trailer on the uh, website as think? well. It's like, woo, yeah, it really, really. Fantastic. And the pictures as well. It looks like a film to go and reckon with. Films that come from... Um, you know, a sort of urban environment mm -hmm. that that's that kind of theme. It's about time that they got more, Definitely. you know, exposure. Definitely. And it's a film that de it does deal with the underworld, and it is a gritty, grimy film. Definitely. But it does represent a certain reality. Yeah. And you, you know there. what really annoys me as well is when you watch. I'm going to go completely off the subject. I'll try not to. But you watch EastEnders, mm -hmm. and you watch um, like all these programs that come on television, mm -hmm. and they always use the same black or Asian actors. Yeah. So. Um, I think what the writer and the director wanted to do was to bring some really good, talented, professional people into it, you know, that weren't the same faces that we see on television, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Want to see something different.